I'm Dr. Greg Vanneke. I'm a palliative care physician for Providence Health and Services. Work at St. Peter Hospital, Providence Centralia Hospital, and also an outpatient clinic in Lacey. Palliative care is an aspect of medicine that really focuses on addressing problematic symptoms, suffering, both anticipating, responding to, treating um, difficult situations. And so our focus is physical, it's psychosocial, and it's spiritual. Palliative care is delivered by an interdisciplinary team. I provide the physician aspect of care, but we work with nurses, social workers, chaplains, pharmacists, occasionally various types of therapists, to really look at the whole person and address their needs. That includes their family, their friends, their community, um, and especially because many palliative care patients are seriously ill and may be losing their ability to communicate their own preferences and desires. So we spend a lot of time uh, working with medical surrogates, you know, uh, spouses, children, others trying to figure out what is the next best step. Delivering high quality palliative care in the rural setting is primarily a challenge because of staffing. Number one, they're already challenged to meet the staffing needs of just basic primary care and any subspecialty. Uh, secondly, how do you recruit a specialized palliative care provider in any discipline into a rural setting if you don't have the, the volume of patients to really justify the, the salary and all of that? So we're seeing a lot of innovative things. In, in many rural communities, the palliative care champion might be a hospice um, social worker, it might be a hospital chaplain, often it's a nurse or a nurse practitioner, it may be a family doctor who also uh, does hospice medical directorship and so they're kind of finding ways to cobble together the components of uh, the palliative care team. So much of palliative care is actually delivered in the primary care setting. If I think of palliative care in the broadest sense of the term, uh, symptom management, determining goals of care, matching a patient's values, priorities, preferences with the treatments that are offered. That's something primary care providers do every single day. Palliative care is more specialized and also palliative care is generally consultative rather than taking over the total management. So if, uh, primary care, you need to be able to do the preventive care, the uh, immunizations and other health screening services. Palliative care is more focused on addressing uh, the bigger picture, but not getting into the nitty gritty of, of a lot of the preventive needs that a primary care provider would do. So palliative care is a broader concept of care that's focused on comfort and quality of life. Hospice is one specific model of palliative care, but hospice is really limited to end of life care. Historically, medicine is thought in more of an either or mindset. And what I mean by that is either we're pursuing hopefully curative or life prolonging treatments, or we're doing comfort care. People would always say, oh, they're not ready for palliative care yet, meaning they're not sufficiently end of life. Uh, now they're recognizing why wait until their end of life to, to get them comfort focused therapies. So I'm seeing many more patients now who are actively undergoing radiation therapy, chemotherapy, cardiac management. While they're receiving those treatments, they're also getting palliative care. When we first opened our clinic, we got a gentleman who had gone through head and neck cancer treatments. He was completely through his cancer therapies. He was miserable. Uh, the radiation, the surgery, the cancer itself had all left him with a pretty substantial amount of pain, nausea, malnutrition. Uh, he was still getting nutrition through a feeding tube because he couldn't swallow. And so we spent months working with him to stabilize his physical symptoms, to address a lot of his psychosocial needs. He'd become very isolated and depressed. And after about six months, he actually came into our clinic and said, I don't think I needed my appointment today. Um, I actually think I'm ready to stop coming in and I want to open the space up in your schedule for others. 
but I wanted to come in and thank you because you changed my life. And you know, needless to say, everybody in the clinic is crying and feeling like, wow. But this is a gentleman who would never qualify for hospice at this point. You know, he's free of his cancer. Um, he's not end of life. He presumably has decades of life ahead. But between his physical and emotional um, symptom burden, uh, he was able to come in and have a dramatic difference made.